and to dedicate this to the ones I love, starting by Sophie Beale, who was the first person to read the script of this film and who made me believe I could tell the story. The shape it would take? Actually, very, very little. I had a very vague idea that came from the, the dream that I described in the beginning. I was, had finished my short film and was writing a, an argument for a fiction and I had that dream and woke up one day and transformed what uh, I was writing, which was a fiction, into the argument of this story, which was basically the, the story of confusion between myself and my sister. And, and then as soon as I, as I decided to, to do this, I, did, I saw that I, I, I realized that I had to look for everyone who could have known Elena. And I then went to New York with her address book and started looking for the people through Google, Facebook, and found many people. And in the end, I interviewed 50 people, and only two, my brother and Michael, stayed. So it was very much a, a film that was found in the montage. Yeah. Sorry, the, the question was, what does your mother think of the film? Yes, um, she was one of my mother and a friend, my a very good friend from Brazil, were in, uh, at, staying at my house when I had that dream. So they were the first people I told this, the idea about, and they were extremely. She was extremely supportive. Of course, when she saw how long it would take, she started getting very worried and and um, also hesitant, for example, of going to New York. But once I said, "Please come," she would. She came, and she was so available. Somehow, it was always a film for her because, in the sense that it was such an obsession in her mind, the guilt after Elena died, that she even used the word like, "I'm playing the film all over and over again in my mind. I can't stop playing the film." So finally, she said, "Now that you've made a film, I don't have to play the film in my mind anymore." And after our premiere in, in Brazil it was very beautiful because all these people it was like, like a thousand people in the audience they came to hug her and she said that since then she's feel, felt kind of redeemed from her guilt so it was a beautiful thing that I didn't expect yeah. mm -hmm. the question was about why video was so present in your life but it started with my grandmother who had a bell and how and 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 my short film is made with much of that material, uh, my first short film, and um, and then I guess that just went on through the women <laughs> of the family. My mother used film, and then when I was born, my sister got a camera. But there were huge periods that weren't filmed. It's just that when we edited, it seems that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and what was amazing was that I had never seen any of this footage. And when I decided to make the film, I went and started to look for everything that existed and I found like 50 hours of this footage that allowed me to transport myself into the 80s <laughs> and at a time that my parents were still together and we were living a commercial, uh, yeah, a time of happiness in my family that I had never experienced, so it was wonderful. How hard was it to put a project together from so much footage, obviously footage you'd never seen so you had no background, how was that process? Of editing? Of, of editing down the footage that you already had in your family. Yes, that, that wasn't the hardest. The hardest was actually the, the interviews, because the, somehow the, footage, the family footage, since the beginning, they, they, it, it was almost as if it was done to be made a film out of. Like, there were things... You're friends in the family. <laughs> the, yeah, like the, the images of Elena dancing, like I... That was so amazing to find that, and it just was so organic to, to edit it. What I struggled with was the, the, the interviews, because there was so much rich material in the interviews that and as, as the editing went on and I started writing the narration, it was such a struggle to find the fit, and that was what took most of my time, yeah. our time, me and the editors. Uh, yes, any more questions? Yes, right here. So, do you, you, did you do this originally in English? Do you no. Have a, do you have a Portuguese version and then you have an English? Yeah, it's the first time the, the English version is being shown to 
public, I'd love to know what you thought about it because it's a virgin. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. yes. Very nice. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it was, the narration was in Portuguese and we decided to make this English narration because it, since the beginning it, it was something I wanted to do because also many of the audio tapes of my sister were narrated in English or diaries were in English, so it, it felt organic to be bi bilingual. Yeah. But, uh, the question was about inspirations for the visual style? Yes. Um, there, were, there were many inspirations. Uh, Chris Marquet was a huge inspiration. Um, Agnès Varda, um, dance, <laughs> and and just discovering Super 8 for, since my short film was a huge inspiration. It was like first time I saw Super 8 being uh, telecine. Uh, it was like <laughs> dreams can <laughs> come into into photography. I, I had no idea. Fit together very well. Oh, thank you. Did, did you always know this was going to be a film project? Cause it seems like you have so many different disciplines represented. Like it's almost painterly, and you have dance. Was it was it always a film in your mind? No, no. It actually started as the theater piece when I was eighteen. The seed of this is the uh, I was doing a theater workshop, and I was given a little. Uh, endeavor in a piece of paper in the book of life and I had to do a scene about the book of life and I went home trying to find out what the book of life would be and since I've never had any relationship to any religious book like visceral relationship I started going through my diaries and found a diary of Elena and it was one of the strongest things that ever happened in my life because it was like reading something that scene that I had written, though I had never written, and, and I made a scene mixing parts of her diary with my diary. And but at that moment, I kind of said to myself, "One day I have to make a film." And then you found Super Eight. <laughs>